Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is IELTS speaking third lecture on uh, today we, we will practice some general questions and our first question is do you work or study? So you have to answer like me, like as I am lecturer at Department of Computer Science, Abdul Wali Khan University, and doing PhD in Electronics Engineering with a specialization of line ad hoc networks. So our second, like how will the examiner like uh, will question you? So these are some practice questions. So moving towards our second question, why did you choose this particular subject? So you will say. Today is the era of modern technology. That's why I'm interested to contribute in the scientific world. Uh, because this is my dream to become a professor at Cambridge and also to become a scientist. What do you do when you finish your degree? Well, I want to work as a scientist in future to make new things that will help everyone around the world and through that new inventions, our lives will become very much easier. And the advanced level of research will help me to contribute towards the society as well. Another question is like, what do you like to do in your free time? So you have to answer like that since from past years, you have to say like since from past years, I did not have any free time because I but when I am free, I usually like to read, travel or meet some friends around near to me. And also, I have made a website that is called albertini.com. Through that, I can give free education to everyone. And also to publish some articles on that website as well. Another question about some general overview practice for ideal speaking is do you like uh, do you like to spend your free time indoor or outdoor so you will say it depends on weather if it is raining I don't like to go outside but most of the time I like to go outside rather than staying at home okay after that what will be the next question might the examiner ask you what did you do in your free time when you was a child Oh, I used to read, uh, I used to read a lot, just reading books. I have never ever used to play much. Most of the time my parents told me to go outside and play. But, but I always used to stay in home and read. And what you are going to do in your free time this weekend. So you have to say like, this weekend I will do some work. Uh, on articles that is related to technology and will publish it on my website that is albertini.com and will uh, through that people will learn so many things from my ideas and people can also make some new applications from that as well because that will be relevant to the mobile applications okay so moving towards the next question that is about do you like to travel so you have to say like yes I do because I want to know about other countries, how they live, how the people are, how their culture are and stuff like that. I feel very much interesting uh, in these sort of things to discover people, to discover new things and new places. So, and to make new friends as well. Where is the tourist destination in your country? Like, uh, the most visited destination in your country. So you have to say there are so many places like uh, But people like to go to the northern areas. Why? Because uh, That areas are very much colder and around Pakistan most of the uh, areas are very much hot So people used to visit the Hunza, Swat, Chatral like that and after that as the weather is become colder, uh, people uh, like to go there and uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned about this question, so I will say if I uh, found some opportunities to go outside in a colder area, I will must have to go and plan there to visit Canada, uh, also United States because 
these are very much good for my traveling as well to gain some knowledge from the people as well. Okay, moving towards the next question that is about is traveling abroad popular in your country? So you will say yes it is. People usually do go to the summer days uh, abroad like I think uh, most of the people uh, take some advantage from Indian or Pakistani dramas uh, and select some places from that and after that uh, I think that plays a very pivotal role in our life uh, that dramas and movies uh, to select our destination for traveling and uh, another question for a practice session is where would you like to go in future so you have to say there are so many places but uh, I haven't seen so I might go there but I will like to go I will like to go uh, where that is very much near and dear to me that is Hunza Gilgit to see the culture and tradition of that people because I haven't seen uh, I have seen that place in YouTube on uh, and also on internet that uh, these areas are very much fascinating to the uh, eyes as well. So some uh, after that the examiner can give you a cue card that will be about uh, uh, that will be having a topic. So uh, today we will explain a short topic that topic is about describe the type of clothing that you like to wear you should talk about. So there will be some sort of uh, short questions like what it is, why do you like it, like uh, where do you buy it and how does it make you feel to buy that cloth. And the examiner will give you uh, about one minute to uh, uh, think about that topic and uh, point some outlines for that and then you have to say about that topic. So, moving towards that topic, you have to say like that, type of clothing, generally, I like to wear is casual, like jeans and t-shirts. Uh, I wear different types of clothes on different occasions, like everyone else do. So, in Pakistan, we are having so many festivals using, I like to wear casual clothes, but on occasion, I used to wear some sort of traditional dresses. That traditional Pakistani dresses, dresses we used to uh, buy from the very uh, uh, expensive uh, shops like uh, Junaid Jamshi that is commonly called Jaydot uh, because I like to wear the designer or the brand clothing uh, and when I go to the mosque I try to wear very simple clothes because that made me feel calm and peaceful and during the festivals like uh, you can say Eid so during Eid time I like to wear the traditional cloth of our uh, country uh, that make me feel very happy and, and so different as well from uh, the others and also uh, if I go for interview I used to wear some sort of formal clothes or formal suits that make me feel very confident and moving towards this topic like uh, examiner can ask you some sort of short questions during uh, the, that topic discussion as well so uh, he might ask you are designer clothes popular in your country so you will say oh yes it depends upon person actually the designer clothes are usually very expensive uh, only people from socio-economic class uh, can buy that cloth so they are popular in certain segments of the society and the examiner might ask you this question as well uh, why do you think uh, people buy designer cloths so you have to answer like uh, I think because there are some sort of status barrier between people and this is very much attached to the people like so when you are wearing some sort of a specific label people can recognize it easily and then it shows what kind of class you belong to and it is a huge thing in Pakistan I think uh, it shows from a different class of society you belong basically belong 
Uh, and the last question uh, is about this relating to this topic is do you think you can judge someone by kind of clothes wearing at work time? Uh, uh, if I answer this question I will say personally uh, don't but there are some in me belong to uh, what you are wearing of that people build perspective like how someone uh, how someone is clothing but I think uh, I uh, normally people don't care about the, how people dress so we will talk about some sort of uh, uh, descriptors that are if we talk about in the last video we talked about uh, nine band so today we can focus on eight band eight band includes the uh, speech fluency so it will be fluency and afterward, uh, we have to use some sort of vocabulary. Vocabulary, and uh, after vocabulary, people have to structure their sentences. So structure of sentence is very much good. After that, some sort of uh, pronunciation. If there be, uh, some people fail in the pronunciation, so it will be not a good sign for uh, in front of the examiner. So I have talked about the eight band. So it includes fluency, vocabulary, structure, and pronunciation. So uh, this is a band descriptor for public version. Uh, I am using the speaking notes of the IELTS uh, coaching. So this is enough for today. I think uh, from this video people will learn so many things and uh, this is about speaking and inshallah in the next uh, videos we will try to focus on writing, reading and listening as well. So thank you so much and keep subscribing and visiting our channel that is Exploring Life is Fun and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you so much and bye bye.